Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff Gray with the Easiest Sales Systems team once again with another installment of uh, Ask the Coach, as we call it, which is cool because you know, it gives me a lot of fun to actually be the coach and have the little Ask the Coach thing. I like it. So anyway, today um, I was speaking to my uh, client. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that little interruption. That was my friend uh, Beverly was calling me to get some advice. And uh, Beverly's a, a very special student because uh, she's one of our coaching clients here with Easiest Sales System, me again, Jeff. And um, she um, got off the ground really quickly. Like she had her first coaching session. She drove some traffic to her squeeze page. We got a couple of leads, actually two. Interestingly enough, both of them fell on my desk and, and both of them got closed. That generally happens when they fall on my desk. I'm just kidding. But anyway, um, so yeah, I was my friend and she was needing a little help, so I had to answer that call. So I appreciate you guys' patience. So anyway, <clears throat> um, Maya Seabach lives in Hawaii, lucky girl. And she asked me today, she were talking on the phone, and she was like, you know, I'm so scattered. I've got stuff all over the place. I need to be organized. I need to get organized. She said, can you answer that question for me? How do you stay organized? And the question, the answer to that question is, I'm not really sure if I do. However, I give it a good try. And basically, I just kind of separate everything. Um, uh, when, when I do a new venture, a new affiliate program, or a new website, a new blog, or something that I start, I just get a new Gmail address just for that. Um, so it'll be like the name of the venture by Gmail. So the name of the venture or whatever, the name of the project at gmail.com or something that I can use to remember. That way, I can have all the emails from this particular venture directed to that email, and I know that everything in that inbox has to do with this particular venture. I don't have to go searching through my main inbox, which has like 9,000 unopened emails from me being on so many people's mailing lists, that it, stuff will get lost in there. So I start a new Gmail account. Now, the interesting thing with Gmail, if you have Gmail, if you look up at the top right-hand corner where your picture is, you can click on that picture, and you'll see a drop-down box that says Add Account which basically means I can have, I don't even know how many, I've had as many as four or five different Gmail accounts, inboxes open on my computer at one time, so that I'm basically monitoring email from all of these different accounts um, if there's something going on that's got me that busy. So how I organize my emails, you can have a main email with different folders for each particular product or venture that you're involved in, but then you've got to physically take the emails and put them in the folders. So what I do is knock over my coffee cup Luckily, it's empty. And then I just open up a, a separate Gmail account for each one so then everything's organized. And that way, then if I decide to drop one or not do a particular venture or move on from something, it's just a matter of shutting down that email account. And now I'm not being bothered with uh, stuff coming in that is related to that venture. Okay, so that's email. What time we got? 244. Okay, got to quicken up. Okay, <clears throat> now, the other thing is managing the programs that you're in. She said, uh, Maya anyway, she said that she has all these downloads, doesn't know where they go, and she has a problem organizing. Okay. Now, I know I use Firefox as a browser. When I download something on Firefox, it goes to a download folder. And if you have Windows, well, my Windows is old. I have Windows 7, but I think on Windows 8 too. One of the icons at the bottom and your quick start menu at the bottom of your computer is a folder. You click on the folder and it goes to... Um, basically, they used to have a, a name for this, file system, file folder, or something. They don't call it that anymore. I don't know what they call it. They call it libraries or folders now. But when that folder opens up, you'll have libraries. Libraries are um, videos, downloads, music, and that sort of thing. The stuff that you download, that you just download in general off the web, is going to go into your downloads folder. So what I do is, if I just click to download a PDF or download a video, it's going to go automatically with my Firefox into my downloads folder. So inside the downloads folder, I would just create a new folder for that particular venture, and then everything that I download for that, I would immediately put it in that folder so that it's not mixed up with all my other downloads. Then I take that folder and put it on my desktop, or into another folder where I have all of my internet ventures. I also have a separate document in that folder. It's just a Word document. It's not in a folder with all of my logins and passwords for whatever program or affiliate or anything that I do. Anytime I sign up for something and get a new login and password, I immediately open that Word document and I add it to that because two things. One, I hate remembering logins and passwords. Two, that document is pretty much a clear you know, menu of everything I'm involved in. 
I can look at that and I can say, okay, I'm working. I haven't paid attention to this in a little while. I wonder what's going on over there. Could send some email about this. All of my projects that are that I'm working on are on that document, and I immediately have access to all of my logins and passwords. So that keeps that organized. But organization is not something that comes easily to most internet marketers. We want to run, 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 click, 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 and we do things and we don't keep records. But Maya opened up a, 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 um, an interesting topic because being more organized is only going to make us more money, right? Having a better idea of what's going on at any particular time is only going to make us more money. So we should all try to be more organized. That's just a little quick lesson as to how I do it. Um, oh, as far as Google Chrome, I'm pretty sure Google Chrome has a downloads folder as well where all of your downloads will be, and then you can take them and separate them into other folders. Um, and Microsoft uh, Internet Explorer, if I'm not mistaken, will ask you where you want to save a file. So always create a folder just for that type of stuff. But basically, in order for me to keep everything organized, I, I have one folder on my computer for my internet marketing business, right? And inside that folder are subfolders for each little thing that I might be involved in. And then there's a main document that has all of my logins and passwords and that sort of thing. Also, on the email side, I set up separate emails, Gmail accounts for each venture, and then I can click on Add Account and I can have my Jeff.CloseSalesForYou uh, account open while I also have my, um, my main, my personal email open, op uh, emails for two or three other business ventures or whatever that I might be in. Whenever I have a separate email, you can always click and open up an additional email and it will be sitting right there on top of your, uh, in your browser as an additional tab. So you can have three or four different Gmail accounts open at one time. Um, also with Google, with Gmail, you get Google Drive and you can always upload files to the drive so you can access them anywhere, even if you're not on your computer. And that's another way you can organize some of the stuff that's important for you to run your day-to-day -day business. I know I probably scratched the surface. You know, organization is one of those things, it's a personal thing. How you organize is how you organize. But my way, Maya, is I keep everything separate. I, I put everything into its own little box where it's supposed to go. And now we're at almost seven minutes, so I'm really running over. The last thing I want to say is um, last time I wore this cap, Luis DeLeza said that I look like um, I was coming off the golf course because I was wearing it like this. So today I'm wearing it backwards. So he'll say, it looks like you just got finished doing some work, which is exactly what happened today. So at any rate, uh, until Wednesday, thank you very much. Um, stay with the easiest sales systems team. Keep driving that traffic. Give me some people to talk to. I cannot wait to close sales for you. This is Jeff signing out. Don't forget, send your questions. Ask the coach. Bye-bye.